So hi everybody and welcome back to the uh, Unreal Engine 5 full game tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 51 and in my last video I made a big mistake. I recorded the whole video without a screen recorder. So in this video I repeat all the steps again. And a big thanks for the person uh, Adeji Abiodun. Thanks a lot for informing me that I record it without a screen recorder. Big thanks. And like all time, if something happens, just write it in the comments. I see this comment and then I can uh, respond to it. All right, with that said, let's continue. Let's start with a fast overview. And you can see we have finished this first block, the second block, the third block, and we are in the fourth block. In the fourth block, we are in start game. In start game, you can see, let's put them here side by side. So you can see in this block start game here, we have already created this, a very simple main menu widget. We created a very simple input widget, which we have to update later the inputs when we know exactly which keys we are using in our game. And in this video, we will talk about the story, uh, or let's say we will create a story widget because uh, um, I created already a pre-story and there are millions of different ways how you can include this in your game. And of course, I use the most simple uh, one and the reason for that is we have only seven days. We have not too much time to, yes, make it very nice and so on. But of course, if you have more time than seven days, then you can add more content to it, make it much better or find even a better way than what I did. Because what I did is just adding a widget and recording the text as well so that the um, so that the player can listen to the text or he can just read it itself. So that's my solution and let me show how we are going to do this. So let's open up here our uh, game and you can see we are here in when we go here to world settings down to game mode. This is my main menu. So when I start this one here that was that what we created when i click to new game that was our um, not finished play input we will change this here or oh, the music we will change this here anyway and make here perhaps a title so player input something like that and then the player can say okay after he read all the play inputs he can start here the game but before that here one more side note this player input we have to provide it later in gameplay as well what i mean with that is the player must have a possibility to open up the this uh, widget again uh, because perhaps he forgot some keys here or he said oh what was the key again for this uh, lighter ah it was four and so so we have to provide this addition uh, um, again later we will build this later in gameplay uh, again that's very easy we make just a reference but let's continue so we have here now this player input and then he can click here on got it here we will change this whole widget probably and style it much much better and this widget what you see right now is my story widget which I included I made it very simple I just added here a picture uh, with the story in it and then I made here two buttons so you can click the second page so you have the uh, choice to read it yourself or I recorded already the first lines here for test purposes and the story here is of course not corrected so what I mean with that is I still need a person or I use just online tools where I correct here the style, uh, spelling, grammar and all this kind. So probably a good pro online tool is also good, but a person who has a very nice grammar, it's faster because he can just rewrite it instantly. Uh, yeah, I will see. And then what you can see here is also uh, here on the bottom, we have here something like uh, like don't show again checkbox. I made here a checkbox and this checkbox means when he read the story, 
uh, he probably read it one time only and don't want all time see the story pre-story pops up when he opens all time the game right so that's that's why this little checkbook it's nice and say don't show again i know the pre-story yes and this one here this checkbox is not finished what i mean not finished we have of course saved this checkbox in a safe game so that when the player opens the game again and he already checked this box that this one uh, is loaded uh, from the safe game so that this uh, page here can be skipped so we have to finish this later when we set up our safe game and then we have here a start game button but this start game button here will also not start automatically the game we will load first again a load game uh, screen because depends on uh, how long it loads um, then it will load the screen and what I added here is just a little throbber which you can just add with one click and that's so easy and it's are these are the parts which we are doing in this video and we will not do the coding part in this video this coding part we do in the next video just i show you all these parts how i connected them first all right let's go we are here in our game and this is also not the final place that was just for test purposes and now we go into and creating them so First of all, we go to our folder and you can see again, we have here our game folder. This is our folder and the game folder is later the folder which we will use probably in our uh, final game. And here, the first thing what we want to do is create a widget and like all time, uh, we have already created a widget folder. In my case, this widget and here I created this uh, menu widget but this uh, this uh, story is not a menu right this story which i want add it is a special story widget <laughs> i need a story widget and so i made here a folder for it and you can see i already uh, made this and i think uh, this one the one is just for test purposes demonstration purposes that was this one and the one is the original one let's open up the original one first and yeah this is the widget which you saw before you can see it's just one widget and um, then i just add it all in a very very simple way of course later you have to add to this widget to make it real good you can add graphics background pictures sound simulations effects all kind of stuff uh, for example instead of using this picture here you could use a make a nice background picture or find it uh, online pictures with nice uh, letters or something like that and just uh, use it as a background but we will talk in a moment more and the best way to explain you this one is probably just create it fast again i did this in my last video i created recreated this whole widget and i think i created in this video as well it's the fastest way to explain so let's get started first of all we go to our widget we are in our story folder and right click right click where is the user widget this widgets here is in user interface you go down to the bottom and here in user interface you go to the widget blueprints let's click it and you can see this pops up here it says user widget we click on it and there we uh, you can name it like you want i call it all time w for widget and then bp because uh, this is our widget blueprint and then let's call this story free <laughs> this time um i normally i called it just the widget blueprint story this is the original one this one i will probably later delay just for demonstration purposes and let's open up so what i do here is exactly that here but um i re uh, recreate all this step by step so that you can see how this was done so very simple but it's a very simple setup so the final product should be not this simple you should really put a little bit more a uh, bit more effort in it this is anyway just for set up the core system so that it works and later we make it better all right let's start here first of all i start with a uh, 
canvas. By the way, this canvas panel is said not to be good and the reason for that is uh, it is uh, expensive in widgets and there are better solutions. I still use this canvas because in my case I'm not opening up many 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 widgets. I am opening up here just this start widget at the start and that's it. It's uh, not it, even if it's expensive it will be not uh, slow down anything uh, because it's only used one time probably and that's it. So uh, anyway read this in your documentation they say it's better just to use one widget with a canvas and add other widget to this already created widget in my case i skipped this pro process because this is faster for me so we have a canvas and you can see we need a picture actually we need two pictures because i have to use this story is too too long so i made it in two pictures and then we need just a button 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 and then text and then checkbox let's add this all kind of stuff so we start with picture let's write here a picture oops when i can write it right picture what's going on why is there no picture as ah it is called image sorry <laughs> it is called image not picture image let's add an image here very simple here we scale it I make it not exactly like this one because this uh, uh, um, alignment and so exactly to this one takes too much time. Think about it. That's okay. Then align this one. Let's say uh, we want L to anchor it. What is the anchor? This is this anchor here. And uh, that is how later this is aligned in the screen. I want that it should be calculated from this point, from the middle. Let's call this image here on the left side. In the hierarchy, let's call this image Im IMG for image underscore. I call it then here story one, perhaps, because this should be the story one. And instead of, of course, you can go here top and uh, get here another image in and then scale it up again because we need two of them. But there is a faster way. Just select this image, go here to the hierarchy, right click and duplicate and you can see we have exactly duplicated that what we have here and i overlap this one here around so it's okay and then let's call this one img story 2 and so if you're asking why am i overlapping this one because the story will be let's go here back when i click here the page uh, 2 button it should um uh, it should just uh, collapse the first widget which means it should uh, set visibility not visible the first one then it shows the other one and when i uh, click page one then it should not show the, the other big, uh, image and it shows the first one and so on i will show you this in a moment a little bit more so let's go on we have now here this two image let's add the three buttons here in my case how we add a button is very simple here is a button we scale this button, we use this anchor, this button, let's anchor them here on the right side perhaps, it's not so, oops, not middle, on the right side perhaps, and let's put here, you can see this button has no text, but we can just add a text here, or you can go here on the hierarchy and connect it here, both are possible, this one is probably faster, or doesn't matter and then let's write here perhaps page one page two we go select this text uh, if you can uh, careful that you select this one right if uh, you can see it here on the left side which one is selected but before that let's uh, rename this button let's uh, press f2 this is renaming but of course you can also right click and then rename here but you can see this f2 is just a uh, shortcut to make it faster F2 and let's call this btn btn stays for button underscore and then you have to say what button this is in my case page one button and this text here then you select this text block and this text block we need just this text block for informing the player we go here on the right side to details after you selected this text block and you go to the text here content text and then you write here what this button is page one in my case and you can see okay this uh, size is not good then you go down a little bit and here in font 
size. This is changing here how big this text should be. Let's make it so. And of course, like all time with buttons, you can change here a little bit more like you can select the button. So select the button again. I go here or you select it here. You can see now the button is selected. The button options has here style and in style you have normal, hovered, pressed and all kind of stuff and let's set at least one i will not set now all i hope you know how to set this one up and make this a little bit more beauty it should just work because like i said this is more like a prototype and yeah with that said uh, we have this and of course you must do this for the other ones too properly and let's say this is our button but i need three and like before just go here to the hierarchy right click duplicate right click du oops right click uh, select and then right click duplicate all right now i have three buttons and let's put them here one here that was wrong i think what i did i don't know i selected not the button what i selected was the, the text that's why it's work let's select it here it's better for this what's going on mm. let's select it here i'm don't know it was not good this one is here and this hello why you are not doing that what i want so here let's go here all right we have this one you align this a little bit nice and then uh, you are writing then the proper names this is page two let's write here two this one is my start game start game oops start game and you can see this is a little bit bigger so what you can do is change here the button or change just the font they are different to version uh, possibilities let's make here just the font size and you can see it's almost similar to this one and we need here one more uh, two more things uh, three more things text checkbox and of course this uh, uh, the story so let's make this one too and here of course the other buttons you should rename them and the reason for that is we will use them in the graph later when we are programming that's why this is important that we know what these buttons are or if you not rename it you have all time rewatch this here in the designer it's annoying a little bit let's call this page two because it's the button and this one this button is my button start game start game all right now this one when i go later to the graph side here and you can see here in graph on the left side now all the names are properly and you know instantly what these buttons or this image are that's very important i think so it's uh, don't worry it will break nothing if you make it not but it's easier and faster uh, all right with that said let's add the other thing we need a text again to uh, just say here don't show again and a checkbox and how we make this very simple again we go to our palette here on top right here for example text for our text let's put this in let's make this little bigger let's write the proper text in don't don't show again and then we scale this in font a little bit let's make it so let's make it bigger and uh, scale the box here this way and after this one we need to of course anchor it here right let's anchor this one this time on the bottom here perhaps and here and we need a checkbox uh, let's write here go to the palette let's delete this right here checkbox and you can see there is this checkbox node Put it in and this checkbox note i have not to uh, read the documentation how to use this properly and the reason for that is but before we go there let's anchor this one so here the checkbox is selected anchor again the same place where my text is and the checkbox here when you can see the checkbox is actually this little picture here and that's a problem i have not figured out how to make this picture big i might i mean i know how to make this picture big it's very simple you go here on the right side the details and then in style and in style you have of course um where is it uh size image size that's not what i meant when i said i figured not out how to make the picture big and at the same time a sharp because when you use this image size here and you scale this picture here up 
it is blurry. So let me show you this when later when you click here, this one looks blurry and that's a problem because I preferred it uh, that it looks a little bit more sharp. Probably you have to change this checkbox picture with a proper, I don't know, with a proper picture to make it uh, work. In our case, let's use it. Let's just use it. So let's set it here scale. The, you go to the, you select your checkbox. You go again to style. You go to uh, here image uh, size and you want change the image size like you want it let's say 80 80 but ah, that's okay not too big let's say here 75 uh, 70 let's make 70 still too big okay let's set it to 65 by 65 something like that and yeah okay that's okay and here that's working and you can see now we have here a checkbox aligned and let's write here also checkbox uh check box underscore perhaps um don't show again don't uh yeah don't show again don't show again something like that that this should be just descriptive so you know what this is and with that compile save and you can see this is almost finished, not really finished. We have a little bit more to do. And the next thing, what we have to do, like you can see here, we have here already this uh, text, right? And by the way, this text here, uh, I used uh, the, uh, there are millions of ways how you can include text. There are good ways, bad ways. My way is a very not good way, I think, but yeah, it is a simple way. And uh, what I did here is just, I added these two pictures. I call this one story, one story two. And the text which I have, I have saved as a PNG. Let me open this one up in a moment. Here's my horror folder. Here's my storytelling text, which is not finished actually, but we are just prototyping here. So don't worry, we'll replace this. And you can see, I have saved this here as a PNG here on top, which means this here can be imported to unreal engine very very simple you uh, let's go here to unreal engine let's go here to, let me show you what i mean you go here to your folder you go to your game folder you go to your story folder so you create this story uh, folder and in the story folder i created a pre-story folder and in this pre-story folder i imported this one you can use this import but if you have only one uh file or two file it's faster <laughs> just to take this picture of course you need uh, not this uh, uh you need the file or folder not this one so this one we can close we go here let me open this one more time uh here so and here let's open this one Let's stock this one here fast. So that is here. So here you need this file folder and now you can just drag and drop. You can see here, that's very fast. Uh, if you have a PNG file, right? But if you have, let's say many, 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 many files, this drag and drop is actually very, uh, very slow. Why? Because then you can go here to import and then select all the files which you want. Uh, uh, let's say you have 100 files or whatever and then all the 100 files will be imported instantly so depends on the situation if you have like me only two files I drag them instantly in that's it or if I have more files I use import and yeah and let me show what I mean it is so easy to import let's go here to this page here this one and you can see because it's a PNG file it's imported so fast right that's nice about this one. And this will work uh, full time. And yeah, let's go back. And because I have now imported this to this folder here, you can see my pre-story just for prototyping. This is not finished, but we need just a prototyping. What you can do now is select your image here. This is our widget. Then go to details and find this imported uh, textures because when you import a png you can see unreal engine is creating this texture for you it is when you hear uh, on top it says t that was naming that's mine but 
uh, in parentheses, it says this one is a texture, right? That's why I called it T underscore storytelling. It is a texture for storytelling. All right, with that said, textures can be used in images here, right? We have an image here. And this image, when we go here to details, right down, you can see to here in brush, we can choose an image. And the image which I want to choose is, of course, this texture. I can right now with my T underscore and then storytelling. And you can see this is the one. Is this the part one? Yes. And then we select the second one, the same thing here. I go here, search T underscore storytelling telling also oh that was not the right one it was the second one oops this was the second one this one is the root what wait 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 yes this one right this one is the second this one is the first and yeah that's it and of course we have a uh, setup later in the coding section which is visible when and uh, so on but this kind of stuff we do later in coding so you can see this is almost set up similar to this one it was very fast very simple and of course it is prototyping later you will add like I said, all the designer parts and you can, if you start with designing, there are so many possibilities to make it beauty. You can add here a picture with a nice, I don't know, you know, this pirate letters or whatever. And then you can make your background nice, this button's nice, sound, to many things, right? But this, uh, like all time, we make a, we try to make a game in seven days. You have not much time. You will be happy that you have first this, and then you will check later if you have time to add or all the other things. Of course, this one, uh, you still have to invest here a little bit uh, um, in design, even if you have seven days, because this one looks too primitive to just prototyping. This one has to be changed, but for our purpose we are trying that just to set up here the first uh, startup menus and so on that's okay that's just prototyping all right with that said that's all about this one it was his we are not finished i want to show you one more thing and the next thing what i wanted to show is yes here when i started the game let's uh, close this one for a moment and show this game again you can see this was finished, okay? Here is that. And this recording here. This recording here, I want to show you too. It's very simple. And uh, there is one more thing. When you click here, this coding we make in the next video, right? It's, that takes a little bit of time, that's why. And here this rubber. You saw this uh, round circling. That's very easy with... Um, very easy with... Um, with this widget here <laughs> what you can use is just open up this loading screen so let's go here i use the by the way again as a placeholder this loading screen from the horror engine this kind of stuff you can also replace with your own uh, image own style you can do whatever you like in my case i just use this horror engine let's go here to the menu and did i have it, I have it here i don't know let me see let me see and here I do what? Ah, get here. Here's the basic loading screen. Let me open this up. Ah, okay, it's here. And when I open up this one here, you can see this, this, this loading screen was provided. This is just a placeholder. You can use it or you can make your own. But in pro interesting is this circle here. And the circle here is actually provided by Unreal Engine. It's very simple. You go here to the palette and right rubber and you can see you have here already two options that's very nice the one is circle which i'm using the one is linear let's put them here too let's select them and you can see instead of this little thing you could also use the other one here um, and then you can scale them later here in details all this kind of stuff what you can do all time for example, this one, you can make them bigger and so on. Of course, you do that what you like, but I want to show you this one and you see this is uh, a nice little simulation. It's really little, simple and very fast added. That was that. 
And I'm using this one just again for prototyping fast, perhaps to make this again later better. And let's see what we need else is we added now the story. Yes, the creation of this uh, uh, recording, because like I said, we have here a problem, uh, which I mentioned at the start, that the player uh, should choose how he want to read this or or if you want to listen to this because uh, some player i don't know uh, want not use sound so we have to provide a way perhaps to deactivate sound or something like that but then we have to create something like sound options and so can be difficult depends on how you set up but it can be very simple and probably i will make it very simple so but important is we have to give the player the opportunity to choose if he want to read it like so or if he want just listen uh, to the sound and then after he is finished he can check this box here okay i got the story don't show me this again and we and this set up this coding means later when he start the game this will not show and yeah before i close let's uh, see how we make this uh recording right that's the thing what we have to do how we are recording something and there are different ways different programs and so on choose that program what you want but here a tip um if you have for example a bad microphone like me or even are worse with this headset they have not a very good quality don't worry because there are some free music production tools let me show you what one of the most used here this one is very free this audacity and this audacity can just record uh, when you set up properly all things what you say let's record here something and what I did is actually, let me show you this as well. I just started here the story. I went here to this page here. Then I, um, then uh, here was no sound. And then I just go here and started uh, trying to read this one here. And you can then here um, record it, right? Let's uh, record here, perhaps the two lines here. And let's see. My name is Mehmet Kant. I'm 90 years old and live in Istanbul. After finishing my school life, I try to fulfill my dream, which is a self-proclaimed detective. That's enough for us. And then you can see I said that's enough for us, right? And when we listen to this one, and you can listen to this one easy. 90 years old in Istanbul. And the nice thing about this one is, if you have uh, something bad, for example, here, I told anything else, you can just cut this place out. Very easy, simple. Go here to the cut. Oops, you select what you cut. And then it's gone. And the next thing is nice. Like I said, if you have a very bad microphone, no problem. With this uh, Auto City or other sound tools, you can change your sound. And that's very uh, that's a very powerful feature because then even if your sound quality is not good you sound better but it will change your let's say original sound but that does matter right so let me show you this so i selected this one i go here to fx for example for fun i add a echo effect My name is David all right and then you can do this one and you can see now i have here an echo effect and so on and there are many many other tools uh, which means also you should um, know a little bit about sound uh, manipulation if not no worry just test this out click and uh, test what you like and yeah this uh, this voice acting actually is not so easy. Uh, all think, hey, you are just reading the text, but actually you have to, yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> when I read that text, you will see that it sounds strange at first. Don't worry about this, just test it, or you try to ask help how to act a little bit more. So the next thing is what I want to show you is after you have recorded this one, you have export this one as a WAV file because Unreal Engine needs a WAV file.
And the reason for that is, it, uh, if you have a WAV file, I think it's also supporting some other files, but if you have a WAV file, you can import it very, very easy. Just again with drag and drop. So I go here to the WAV file and you can see I have here already some other WAV files. Let's save this uh, test uh, uh, story story. So that's it. So and then here's some other things. And now I have this test story and let's import this. Of course, we need again. Oops, we need this not. We need again here in our folder. You make here a new folder right click new folder and call it audio like this one and in audio there are different audio files right click new folder and in my case i called it story and you can see i have already imported the, this two audio files but let me show you how you import this as well you go to your file folder where you saved your wave file in my case it's documents or city and it was oh no what was it test anything test story it was test story right i hope so so you can see there is a test oh let me show you this one not so uh here oops so here is test story for example and then i can just drag and drop it again very easy here so it is anyhow here there is it and where is my other file system one second uh, let's drop this one here again so and with that said so easy like before with the image with the uh, with the png file the same goes here with the wave file and now you have it you can hear it and you can see and if you manipulate it a little bit more and more then you can change the sound make it better change absolute your voice even sound absolutely like another person and something like that there are so many options sound options and we can bind this very easy as well so let's save this one and what i want to show you here is there's something else i think that's it yes like all time uh the one thing here if you have again many files use import it's faster you select all the files and they will be imported into into your directory i think that's enough for this video and in the next video i want to go and implement all that what we have here right so we have to implement all these kinds now we have set up all this kind so we can start this one go here again here got it and all this kind of stuff needs to be set up so if you have any questions any suggestions just like all time write it in the comments see you in the next video where we uh, implement this coding and one more thing you see this is just more like a prototyping of course you have to design this later much more because it looks not really good but we are trying to make a game in seven days keep this in mind and like all time we can add this later if we think we have enough time to add something all right with that said see you in the next bye good luck and like all time have fun and never give up